Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna give you some couple of tips that I normally do for lighting using Eevee inside Blender. So let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna give you uh, two main uh, tips, uh, especially for when you're working with Eevee. Now, you know, in comparison to Cycles, uh, Eevee doesn't um, do certain things well with lighting, uh, right? So you cannot get really like really nice bounce back, um, uh, bounce light or, um, you know, certain effects. And so I have this this uh, scene here that I want to I want to light and uh, show you those two little tricks. And the first one is going to be, you know, sometimes uh, depending on the lighting situation that you're going to have, right? If you have a lighting like this, where you have this really nice uh, golden hour, uh, sunset-y, um, orangey, uh, warm light, right? You want to have this nice effect of uh, saturated um, area between the shadow and the light, right? And that gives you a little nice uh, little um, uh, detail that that makes a little bit more realistic, but also just brings more life to the um, uh, To the scene right and unfortunately, you know with uh, with Eevee you cannot get that out of the Normal stuff. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. And so I'm gonna delete my lights here And the only lights that I have here it's a down light here, which we can turn off right and this is just lighting the floor but we're gonna turn that off for now and we don't have any more uh any more lights that are really just affecting the scene per se right uh the only thing that we have now is just the holograms here with some emission and so the way i do that is i'm gonna create a sunlight so shift eight sunlight and i'm gonna move this to the side it doesn't matter where the sunlight is the important uh aspect of the sunlight is the direction and so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick my my angle right so i'm sort of rotating the the light source right and i'm gonna make this pretty bright just so i can actually see it you know i really like the uh i, I like when i like my scenes to be very clear about where the light is and where the shadow is right and in this case most of the scene is going to be in shadow so in order to have enough uh, detail in the shadows I need to really bump up the lighting to increase the uh, the contrast uh, value range in my in my shadows I'm gonna make this really really bright here so as you can see the light areas are sort of like blown up uh, and then my shadow areas are nice uh, and they have you know nice detail and, and all that so uh, so I'm just gonna rotate this find a good a good angle here and this should be you know something like this should be okay I'm gonna give this sort of like a nice yellowish color here. Now from eight to 16 might be a big jump. So I might do something like 12 maybe. And let's bring this a little bit into the warmer side here. So that's our, that's our first thing. And so to get that effect, I'm gonna go to the top view. I'm gonna actually duplicate the same light and I'm gonna place it on the same spot, right? So Shift D, right click. And so now I have two lights, right? Two suns. And this one I am going, this is the new one. I'm going to give it a very hot orangey color. And then now I'm going to rotate just slightly on the Z view here, just very slightly. And you can see over here that I'm getting that sort of effect, right? So I can push this more or less, right? Depending on how much I want of that. Uh, but I can control now that uh, with placing that light source there. Maybe I want to give it a little bit more of that effect. Maybe I want to rotate it up a little bit on the Y axis here. There we go. And so now if I want to change the angle of the light or anything, I can actually just grab both of them and then just use that to uh, create my new angle here, right? Uh, so that's sort of the, uh, the gist of it now uh, depending on the scene of course you may have to bring down the intensity because now you have two lights on the same direction and so you're gonna have to play a little bit with the um the intensity of both of them since they're pretty much uh and you know in the same angle and so you want to control that you don't want to get it too bright where you can't see anything but have that effect 
cool. All right, so now uh, this brings me to the other uh, little tip here, uh, especially with this type of lighting, right? You want to have, you know, if you have this in real life, you're going to have a lot of bounce light coming from the ground or the surfaces that are receiving the main light source. Uh, you're going to have a lot of bounce light just going into different directions. And for a scene like this, right, we want to be able to have this, all this light that is on the ground here on the wall to bounce to center in areas, right? Uh, just to kind of have that that sort of effect. And unfortunately, you have to sort of fake that with uh, straight up with Eevee. But the way I do that is that I am going to create another sunlight. This one we can place it here. And I'm actually going to rotate this 180 degrees. So it's pointing just up. And I'm going to give this a warm color. As you can see, there's no change here. The reason because there's no change is that there's a shadow. So the light is stopping at the ground and it's really not lighting anything. But if I turn that off, you're going to see that if I zoom in here, I'm going to start seeing a little bit of that light hitting the bottom faces of the objects, right? And the cool thing about this is that I can also play with the angle of the light, right? So I'm sort of like playing a little bit with that just to kind of see where is going to be the best angle for me to, to place this. And so you can play with the angle, see what sort of effects you're going to get. And you can also decrease the intensity of it a little bit and you just want just a little bit of that um of that um of that bounce light going on those surfaces over there and it's again it's going to be very different for every single scene but um, um it, it is something nice nice to have and that you can you can also control and this might be something also you might try with a different type of um uh, light like maybe like a spotlight the same concept of having no shadow uh, but with the spotlight you can actually if i bring the spotlight here let's rotate it 180 again i'm gonna turn off shadows let's give it a warm light let's bring the i'm gonna make it super um soft and the cool thing about this is that if i place these for example i'm just gonna use this as an example here maybe there's a lot of bounce light or even maybe let's actually do this to this wall here Right. So I'm getting a lot of bounce light from the ground up. You can have a nice gradient of that effect going up, right? Because the light is going to be less intense at the top here than down here, right? And so uh, because the source of the light is closer. And so with this, you can actually control the uh, the that, that grading and also the distance of it by playing with the custom distance of the of the actual light. And so you can play with both versions, whether it's with the spotlight or the sunlight. Um, and that way you can sort of that get that effect. But I really hope that helps. You know, I use this on every, probably on every single scene that I create with Eevee. And uh, it really helps a ton with um, taking the lighting to, to the next level. All right, guys. So that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.